Normally animals are considered mukze. Mukze mechat gufo. Since they aren't food, and they aren't a utensil, anything that's not food or utensil, like for instance a stone, a piece of wood in the street, a straw that on the road, anything like that would be considered mukze mechamat gufo. And you're not allowed to pick it up, move it on Shabbat. And part of that is also what we're talking about, and that's, uh, that are the animals. Animals are mukze. So one that has fish in the fish tank, that's mukze. You can't touch them. One that has a pet around the house, like a dog, is not allowed to pick him up, pet him, and so on. But some poskim wanted to say that there is a difference between a pet and other animals. Those are already brought down. It's machloket those are and derosh, machloket rishonim. Whether a pet, since it's made to play with, that should be something that would be permitted. The Rosh said that it's not permitted. The Chacham felt that the Alakha should be like the Rosh. The Chumra, he said it's Asur, because the Rosh is a Posek Mefursam, is Posek Chashuv, and therefore he ruled like him. But there are Poskim that permitted those pets, since you are meant to play with it, that's what you have them with. Four, and therefore they permitted such pets. And those are the Igrot Moshe, Rav Moshe Feinstein, Rav Shlomo Zaman Orbach, in Shulchan Shlomo. And therefore we found a Machloket Rishonim and Achonim in that each one should advise with his rabbi how to be possible. But when we come to little kids, little kids could play with those pets. Why? Because the Orl Etzion taught us a halacha that whenever there's a Machloket in the Poskim, Concerning kids, one could be lenient. So therefore, if you have little kids, they could play with those pets. When they grow up, they become bar mitzvah. That's when, if you hold, it should be a chumra, le chumra, one should be machmin.